I am Alessandro Vercelli. I've been a full professor at the University of Siena from 76 to 2010. I am now retired, uh, but I have a contract there uh, to teach economics of sustainable development. I really think that uh, it's very important, uh, not only to me, but uh, more in general, uh, because it is basically about the relationship between the process of financialization and sustainable development. I think that uh, a study of this relation is really crucial today in order to understand uh, the, the crisis uh, that is still going on, that uh, has been triggered very much by a perverse relation between the condition of sustainability of development and the process of financialization. And because if we want to get out of the crisis, again, we have to change the model of development and the change of the way in which finance works in the economy. So I think it's really a crucial topic and strangely enough is uh, almost completely ignored in the debate, not only in the newspapers, in mass media, but also in the academic circles, and not only in mainstream economics, but also in heterodox economics. This is a point that has been ignored so far. So I really think that uh, what the Sud intends to do is very important not, not only from methodological, intellectual point of view, but, but also from the policy point of view, in order to solve the, the huge problems uh, in which uh, we are, we are uh, that we have to face now: social, environmental, economic, and financial problems. It is, in fact, exactly on the relationship between the process of financialization and environmental uh, sustainability. Uh, we could say, I think this is very important, in, again, inside of the, the larger uh, image of the, of the research, larger project, uh, because, uh, to simplify a bit, uh, we could say that uh, the crisis, the current crisis, was triggered by uh, the perverse relation between two debts. One was the economic and financial debts that depended on, on the model of development, that uh, neoliberal model of development that, that characterized the last uh, 30 years. And the second is the environmental debt, the fact that we use more resources than uh, the biosphere is able to give us and reproduce. And so the interaction between the two deaths is really a, a crucial point that we have to study and to solve. Uh, you see, in economic terms, you see uh, the problem of the environmental debt in terms of an intrinsic tendency of prices uh, to increase because, uh, why? Because you use uh, scarce resources, for example, uh, fossil fuels, and uh, we are very close to the, the uh, maximum possible production of oil and fossil fuels. And so uh, the speculation is discounting that and uh, increasing uh, further the, the price of oil and the other fossil fuels. This in its turn increases the price of food. So we have an intrinsic tendency with ups and downs according to the cycle, but the tendency is towards a, 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 a strong, a marked increase uh, cost inflation that depends on the use of, uh, of natural resources, scarce natural resources and food. And uh, uh, this tendency reacts on the economy, on the financial part of the economy because uh, central banks react to this by increasing the rate of discount and this uh, uh, reduces uh, the, the rate of growth and produces a lot of problems. It's a, a really strongly interdisciplinary work. So already in the, the group of Siena, uh, there are not only economists, but experts of finance in order to study the impact of the uh, process of financialization on the process. 
Uh, and then we have an environmental economist to study in particular the problem of the energy system because the environmental debt depends very much on the energy system that characterizes uh, uh, the, the current model of development based on fossil fuels. And um, in order to study the energy system, we have environmental economists and also experts from natural sciences. Uh, for example, Professor Basosi, who is a professor of chemistry, but worked extensively on the, on the problem of energy. We have also lawyers, experts of law, to study the regulation processes, also from the point of view of the legal aspects of the process. And then we have partners, uh, European partners, that uh, give a, a crucial contribution to the, uh, to the work. Uh, we have in particular a department of uh, human uh, geography of Lund in Sweden that uh, will uh, develop uh, many environmental aspects, particularly about sustainable uh, city and uh, about the way of uh, uh, interacting with the nature in a sustainable way. We have the University of Leeds that in this case in particular works on the environmental aspects um, that will give a, a, crucial, uh, a crucial contribution again in the direction of studying the environmental part uh, of this. And then we have uh, also an important contribution of uh, Athens um, and uh, Poznan also in Poland uh, that uh, will give uh, a crucial contribution on, on certain particular aspects of, of the project. I think that, uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, we are uh, giving an original contribution because uh, this, uh, the study of the interaction between financialization and sustainable development uh, uh, is a new thing. So first of all, I see this sort of uh, contribution on research. And then uh, I expect that this will, will help us to uh, teach uh, to new generation, to the students and PhD students uh, uh, how the interaction works and we will encourage them to pursue further our results. But uh, above all, I really hope that we will be able to give uh, a contribution to the policy problems, the, the extremely uh, deep policy problems that we are facing now because uh, we could be able at the end of our analysis to um, give uh, the outlines of a model of development radically different from the current one that is unsustainable that will uh, take account uh, of the needs of nature of the needs social needs uh, and uh, will be able to build a, a new model of development that will be really sustainable from all the points of view. So this is really a very important task because if we do not succeed in that, uh, who else can succeed? And uh, that's crucial for coming out of the crisis and starting a new cycle of development that may uh, increase the welfare of people and without uh, spoiling the nature, spoiling the biosphere.